fingerprint cast process, you can achieve a type of spectral sidechain compression effect, delivered here in Spectral Layers Pro 7 with extreme accuracy and precision. In this video, you'll learn how the process works in the Spectral Layers standalone application. Then we'll take a close look at the configurable process options available before moving over to Cubase Pro 11 to see the casting process in action in ARA mode. The goal of the process will be mainly to create a custom blended kick drum tone that doesn't have an undesirable buildup of low frequency information in the attack transients. And as we'll see, there are other benefits as well across every part of the spectrum. The imprint process requires two layers, a source and a destination. Here, I'm soloing the source layer that we'll be using. It's a tight 4-4 kick drum pattern. Here you can see it's called tight kick. The destination layer in this case is another kick drum pattern, but with a different kind of sustain envelope. And here are the two layers played together. The layer that we are going to operate on or cast into is the FX kick layer. In order to provide a basis of comparison, I'm going to duplicate this layer and then just simply mute it and slide it up to the top of the layers panel. We'll come back and listen to this again later. Performing the process is simple. First of all, make sure that your destination layer is selected. Then simply move to process, select imprint, and after the dialog box appears, choose the cast operation. Then make sure that the proper source file is selected. In this case, type kick. As for the margin controls, I'm just going to max these out so that you can see the most dramatic process, and then later I'll come back and explain more about what these are for. Let's just click OK and do the process. And the process is complete. The tight kick layer has been casted into the FX kick layer. Let's solo the result. Here I'm soloing the duplicate layer so that you can hear the difference. The casted layer one more time. Here I am muting and unmuting the tight kick layer, which incidentally has remained completely unchanged. And now it's easy to see the result of the imprint cast process in Spectral Layers Pro 7. Here you can see that we've casted new spaces into the effects kick layer, tailor made to let the transients in the tight kick layer have their own unique spaces in our new hybrid kick sound. This is a great way to manage overlapping frequencies and avoid low frequency buildup. And finally, both layers played together. Let's take a closer look at the tight kick layer. There is more to this sound than just the transients. There's also a sustain portion. Here I'm using the rectangular selection tool to select between two transients, and I can audition my selection using the spacebar. Let's take a closer look at how the casting process has dealt with the sustain portion of the tight kick layer. Okay, here I'm going to mute the tight kick layer and then solo the duplicate unaffected layer while I'm up here. I'll give it the same color as the FX kick layer so that they look similar in appearance. Here I'm zoomed in to the sustain portion of the original FX kick layer. Notice the brightness level, which is a function of amplitude. Now this is the casted layer. The amplitude of the sustain portion has been attenuated in direct proportion to the amplitude of the corresponding part of the tight kick layer. Again, unprocessed and processed. This is an incredibly precise operation. I'm going to take you all the way back to the beginning. My first process was done with the margin controls maxed out at 8 pixels. Here it is again. Here you can see that the 8 pixel margin leaves quite a bit of space around the transient. You might prefer this setting if you're seeking maximum clarity in the source layer. And here's the same process at 6 pixels. At 4 pixels, it's easy to see the space starting to tighten up around the transient. 2 pixel process. 
And finally, we'll try a one pixel process for the tightest possible cast. Here's the one pixel cast played by itself. And once again, the original. Even with a one pixel margin, the difference is easy to hear. Here is an example of the imprint cast process used in Cubase Pro 11 in ARA mode. I'm going to cast a very dry and tight kick drum sound over a very boomy and sustained kick drum sound. I have both sounds here on the timeline. Let's listen to the dry kick drum sound first. And here's the sustained kick. Played together, they sound like this. And here's the workflow. Select the clips and go to Audio Extensions and choose Spectral Layers. Spectral Layers opens in ARA mode, and now you can work with the kick drum sounds as distinct individual layers. You can see that the blinking tight dry kick drum and the boomy red kick drum share lots of low end information, so let's put the casting process on it. The workflow is exactly the same as the standalone version. Simply select the target layer and then move to the process menu, select imprint, and the dialog box appears. Here again, I'm using the maximum settings just for visual impact, but I think it sounds pretty good too, so let's just click OK and do the process. You can easily see the change in the spectrum. Let's expand our view a little bit and then solo the new casted kick layer. I'll undo the process so that you can see and hear the difference. Both layers played together. And once again, the original layers played together, no processing. Okay, one more time, but this time just for fun, I've strapped a huge reverb across the audio track insert in my NLE. Listen to this. The imprint in this case really does make our time-based effect sound a lot more crisp and clear. Casting is an amazing process in and of itself, and the fact that you can do it non-destructively in Cubase right on the timeline just reminds us once again that the Steinberg audio editing platform is truly the leader in terms of sophistication, inspiration, value, and fun. We hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Spectra Layers Pro 7 delivers audio empowerment. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.